Hi, this is Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel today, which means that the universe sent you to me, and that must mean that I have a message for you today. I thank you for being here, and if you could please subscribe to my channel, I think you will always get um, information um, and, and new information and um, information from my heart space and through the cards to... Um, and, um, I read from my heart space, but I read also intuitively through the cards. So please subscribe to my channel so that you can get my information on a daily basis or weekly basis or however many times. But I really would like if you would subscribe to my channel, just hit that little woman below. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. But here, here we're going to do today a mid-January reading for Gemini, a mid-January love reading for Gemini. Gemini, a mid-January love reading for Gemini. Spirit guys, can you tell me and show me with Gemini? Show me with Gemini. What's going on in their love department? Spirit guys, can you show me what's going on in Gemini's love department? Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. Thank you, Spirit Guys, for the message you're going to give me for Gemini, for their higher good, for their love department. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department in January. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you for what you're going to give me so I can help Gemini. Thank you. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love department. This may not hit with everyone, but whoever it hits with, um, Thank you, universe. Um, and if it doesn't hit with you, then you need to move on. Um, this is a general reading, but thank you, Gemini. Thank you, excuse me, spirit guys. Thank you, spirit guys, for the message you're going to give me for Gemini. Here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you. Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands. Moon. Ace of Wands. Oh, Gemini. Page of Cups. Well, Gemini. You have the Eight of Cups here. And Eight of Cups, it means that you walked away. You walked away from something. Um, and I think you were moving on. You were moving on um, because you weren't quite sure about something. Um, maybe this is a person that you had been with, but you walked away. Um, Eight of Wands means that you guys did communicate somewhere, somehow. You communicated. However, you still walked away from them in the very beginning. And then you had a communicate. You know... I see this as a relationship and you know, some relationships, you seems like, huh? It, it just, um, you needed to walk away in order to get clarity. You needed to walk away in order to get clarity about the relationship to see if this is something that the other person wanted as well. So you might've been, and I hate to say this, you might've been F buddies in the beginning, but Hey, that's what I see. You might have just been F buddies, but now you see a little deeper. So you began to communicate and learn that person. Maybe it was um, you, you guys just got together and hooked up for a while. And then you walked away from it because, you know, you thought, mm, okay, that's fine. And then, But then you start communicating with that eight of wands and you had swift communication. And when I say swift communication, you have communication that just basically um, you learned each other very quickly. But then through that learning, you had the moon there and the moon gave you illusions because um, it gave you gave you confusion. Like I said, because this person and, and, you know, I always say this, this person, if the moon comes up from to me, first of all, I could be a Pisces person. But if the moon comes up for me, it's because you were confused. So I think that you were confused because originally, like I said, this was supposed to be just a hookup. And I think that you were confused because the moon came up and you had the conversation. She's like, this person might be. Hey, I might can can rock with this person because Gemini, you know how you are. You're in your head a lot. So 
But the moon came up. And, you know, this is a good card, Eight of Wands, to come up for you because you are a communication. You have to communicate with the Gemini. If you don't communicate with the Gemini, you're not going to be in this relationship. Geminis are communicators, sometimes too much. <laughs> but it is, Come on, Gemini, please don't get upset. But this is what I'm saying. But the moon card is there. So you are still confused a little bit, um, confused about this whole situation. But here's what we see in this situation. This Ace of Wands... <laughs> Ace of Wands to me is always about you, you know, first of all, it can be a new beginning. But I always look at the Ace of Wands too, that is someone that is, is good and bad. And I'm sorry, that's just Ace of Wands. You guys have chemistry. You guys have chemistry. And so you're like, uh-oh, I think, I, I think my, my headspace is changing a little bit here. But you guys, I think, have great chemistry. And I think that's what slowed you down, even though you walked away in the beginning. But then you have also the Page of Cups. So I think that you want to offer your cup to someone or they want to offer their cup to you. And we'll clarify to get the correct, correct on that. But um, this is a person, like I said, that I, with that ace of wands, I always see that it's, it's good chemistry. I really do. You had good chemistry in bed. You, you know, this was something that, like I said, kind of bowled you over. You weren't quite expecting this. So let's see. Let's see what the cards are going to tell me. Let's see what the cards are going to tell me when we clarify. Let's see what the cards are going to tell me when we clarify. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Gemini for their mid-month January love reading? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here for um, Gemini's mid-month reading? Show me why the Eight of Cups is here for Gen Gemini. Show me why the Eight of Cups is here for Gemini's love reading for January. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. She... she uh, like I said, you were walking away, but, but somebody pulled you back. Queen of Pentacles is grounded energy. Um, it is it grounds you. She's someone that grounds you. Queen of Pentacles also um is is has much about her her paper about her dollars. Um, but she is a, a great queen because she um she loves from a heart space, but she also is about her money. And like I said, with the Eight of Cups, I think you tried to walk away from someone, and but they pulled you back. We're going to see. But they pulled you back because they had a little bit more than what you didn't, you didn't know they had. I think this was just a hookup in the beginning, and then you got caught up. You got caught up. So let's see. Let's see what this Eight of Wands is saying. Spirit, guys, can you show me what the Eight of Wands is here? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Gemini? Show me why the Eight of Wands is here. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Maybe you were juggling. Maybe you were juggling, you know, the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Wands there. Maybe you were juggling with that Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, this you might have been um, walking, you walked away from this situation or this person. Maybe you did, it was just maybe a, a, a let's get together. Let's, let's, you know, one of those calls, hey, what you doing, you know. Um, but um, you had the Two of Pentacles, so you were juggling. And I think you were juggling more than one person. That's what I think. Sorry, but I think you were juggling more than one person. And you know, that's if you hadn't solidified a relationship, you can't say anything. If that person, that's not that's not really bad. That's how we learn who we want to be with. But you had a two of pentacles on that eight of wands, and I think you were juggling. You were juggling. Let's see what this moon is. Let's see what this moon is for Gemini. Show me this moon card. Why is this moon here, Spirit Gods, for Gemini? Three of Cups. And doing it and doing it and doing it. Yeah, I told you that this situation was basically, this is why you were confused. You were out there and with that two of pentacles there, you were juggling more than one person, I think. Um, and the moon uh, gave you, the moon is confusion. It, the moon is illusion. The moon is, um, you know, just kind of out there. And I think that's where you were. You were just out there until this Queen of Pentacles came along. She's still at the top of this reading with this Eight of Cups. So she's the one that slowed you down because you really didn't think. I'm really surprised that I think that a Queen of Pentacles, which is stability and earth sign, I'm surprised that um, she even came or even, um, and I don't think she did. But I, I'm surprised she was even part of one of those uh, type situations because Queen of Pentacles is normally someone that's solidified in what they are and who they are. They have self-esteem. They don't they don't play around, you know, with just any old body. And they're not one to um, do one night stands or to have a, a, a partner that way. I, I don't think it lasted long. I think that's why Eight of Cups, why you were walking away because they were like, I don't think I can handle this. So let's see. Let's see what this Ace of Wands, this Ace, why is this Ace of Wands here? 
for Gemini. Show me why this Ace of Wands is here for Gemini. Show me. Show me why this Ace of Wands is here for Gemini. We know they've been doing it. We know they've been out there handling it with this Three of Cups. So let's see what our Ace of Wands. Oh, oh, Gemini. <laughs> you was doing it and doing it. I think that Queen of Pentacles said, Pentacles said, uh-uh, no, no. Like I just said, I think she said, I'm not down for that. I'm not down for that. You may need to make up your mind, make a decision. Oh, Lord. She just basically said, you need to make up your mind, make up a decision. Make a decision. If you're going to be with me, you're going to be with me. But we're not going to keep doing this situation. We're not going to uh, uh, keep having this entanglement, as uh, Jada Pinkett Smith said. We're not going to keep having this entanglement. This is not going to work for me. So, you know, and you had chemistry with this person. So you had a five of pentacles moment when they said, we're not going to do this anymore. We, we, you know, we're not going to keep having this this type of uh, situation. Um, this can go either way. You might have told somebody that too. And you were in, 